Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing a human hair Amazon wig. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. And I was sent this wig. This is a human hair, dark, curly wig that I was sent to, to review. Now, those of you who watch my channel and follow me at any time know that I am not a human hair wig gal. I don't wear human hair wigs very often. I've got a few, I like them, but we're gonna see what we can do with this wig. So let's flip her inside out. Let's take a look at the wig cap. Let's see what this is. Her ear tabs are a little bit bendable. They're not extremely flexible. They're right here. She has the regular just hook, um, strap adjuster right back here. Um, she has a closed cap and the top is just a regular basic wig, wig cap top. So nothing really special about the top. Now she does have the, looks like she's got some felting right here over the ears. So that's always good. That's always comfortable. I don't see any combs or anything like that in here for her. So I'm going to tell you guys, I took her out of the box right like this and she is kind of a hot mess. So what I'm going to do with this wig is I'm going to wash her, give her a good wash, a good, a good soak in some conditioner, and then I am going to attempt to style this wig. So I'm going to put this wig on my head, and I want y'all to see her, what she looks like right out of the box. Hold on. Okay, y'all. Here she is right out of the package. Here's what she looks like. The wig cap is large, um, so if you have a bigger head, I mean, there's a lot of room up in here for my, for my noggin. So this is what the wig looks like right out of the box. And I've got to say, it's pretty much a hot mess. So if you're considering getting this wig, you're going to have to understand that when you get a human hair wig, oftentimes this is exactly what they look like when they come out of the box. You got to wash them, you got to style them, you got to mess with them, you got to do stuff with them. Okay, so here she is right out of the box. Let me turn around. Let me let y'all see her. Here she is. And I hope I don't lose my lighting. I've had some I've had some struggle today with this. I don't know why. Let me see if I can adjust this a bit. There, maybe that's a little bit better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash this wig and I'm gonna style her and see if I can't come up with something a little bit more attractive than what we've got here. This right here is a perfect example of why I normally favor synthetic wigs because I don't like to mess with the wig when I pull it out of the box. I want it to be ready to put on my head, you know, and you have to store human hair on a wig head and do all that kind of stuff. I've been in touch with the vendor about this wig because, you know, she doesn't look very pretty coming right out of the box. I mean, this is, this is really it. And I feel like in this wig, I look like the, I don't know, Gypsy Rose Lee's mother or something. I don't, I, I just, I can't even, I don't know. This wig is just, it's a hot mess. So when I contacted the vendor, they told me a couple of things to do and I'm gonna do that because you know, it's human hair and, and I've, I have yet to pull a human hair wig out of the box, except for that long curly one that I did. Um, and it looked good right out of the box. They, they all, every human hair wig I've ever reviewed look about like this coming right out of the box. So with this being a curlier wig, I'm kind of hoping that she'll curl up a little bit more when I wet her. So when I come back, the wig will have been washed and styled to the best of my ability. Okay, y'all. So what I did to this wig was I washed her really good, let her soak for a little while in some shampoo. Then I soaked her for about a half hour in some conditioner, rinsed her out really, really good, and then what I did after that is um, I sprayed some, uh, it's called It's Not Your Mother's Conditioner or fri Defrizzer or something like that. It's called It's Not Your Mother's and it's a 10 in one perfecter. And I use that on my own hair sometimes and I thought, you know what? This is an inexpensive wig, be it, albeit human hair. So I'm gonna try this and I sprayed that on there and just let it dry like that. And I put a little bit of gel when she was wet and just kind of scrunch the wig like this. Now, I have to say, I am pretty happy with the way this came out. The curls look really good, 
And when I wet this wig, the wig immediately got really curly, which I was really happy about because I think the curl pattern of this now is really pretty. But I'm going to tell you, she looked nothing like this right out of the box. Nothing. She was flat. She was pressed flatter than a dead skunk. So once I kind of loosened up the curl, got in there, soaked her, the hair fibers feel really good. She feels soft. And I believe this is going to be a good wig. But now you got to know, when you get the wig with this being human hair, you're going to have to wash it immediately and you're going to have to condition it because the hair fibers did not feel great when I first pulled it out of the box. But now that I have conditioned her pretty heavy and, you know, I've got her, I've got her, you know, tamed down just a little bit and got these curls kind of activated in this hair, I really, really like this. I do know that this wig I don't think this is this wig is going to be this wig doesn't it's not going to be a high dollar human hair wig but for like 27 bucks why not i mean i do feel like that this wig is certainly not my best look i don't think i look good in hair this color i think this is a little dark for me so let me just flip around some more and let, let y'all see i know my light faded out when i tried to do this before and for some reason, when I move around like that, my light just wants to fade. But let me get in here close so you can see this curl. Let me get in here close. And let me turn around like this. Every time I go to turn around to show you the wig, my light just goes away. So let's look at the specs on this wig and let's read this off and see what we got. Okay, this wig is $27.88 on Amazon. And I think for a little short, fun human hair wig, I think that's a good price. I think the hair feels pretty good once you wash it and condition it, and I think it's worth the money. Let's see if the wig fits the specs, though, because that's always a big thing for me. Let's take a look. It says pixie wig, human hair, side bangs, and inverted curly tail, stylish design. This is 150% density, human hair, color 1B, five, inch, five inches long, breathable net cap, machine made, not lace front. Now, this is the picture of the wig on the website. Let me pull this up so you can see what this wig looks like if you want to look it up. This is the picture. Now, she did look rather like that when I pulled her out of the package. I mean, she did. She was, she had that little wave thing going on and she was closer to my head, but I honestly did not like the wig that way. I'm just being honest. I didn't think it was pretty. I don't think it did a thing for the wig. But when I washed her and let the curls kind of come back, I've been pretty happy with this. I mean, I've been wearing it this all day and I've been kind of, you know, placing it, piecing it, at, piecing it out and kind of messing with it and giving it a little, you know, zhuzh up right up here. So you can kind of, even though this is human hair, if you'll let the curl kind of go in it, you can kind of zhuzh it up on top. So let me get a headband and let's take a look and see how she looks with that. Hold on. Okay, so here she is with a headband. And I've got to say, I think this is cute with this headband. I think this wig is cute. Um, I think she looks great if you put a little headband in here. I think it's spunky and feisty. So let me turn around again. Let me let you see her. I'm trying, folks. I know the light's going, up, going out. I don't, know what, I don't know what's going on with that. I think the wig is just as cute as it can be. I am actually going to give the wig a good review, and I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do that when I first started with this because I just wasn't sure. I was kind of like, I don't know if this is going to work or not. You know, I don't know what I can do with this, but after I've messed with this wig, fiddled with it, and got it, you know, kind of like, you know, where I could get it curly, I've been pretty happy with it, I've got to say. So, um, yeah, I mean, I do like the wig. I think it's I think it's cute. So, I think it's worth the price. And that's how I usually judge my Amazon wigs. Is this wig worth the price? I believe this wig is. I think it is actually worth the $27.88. Let me see if there's a coupon code. I don't see a coupon code. This wig is a Prime product. So if you're an Amazon Prime member, you know, you get free returns and all that good stuff. So if you get it, don't like it, 
you can always send it back. Amazon pretty much will take anything back. I've never had any trouble with them. So, um, but I think for a cute curly little wig, I think this is cute. Now, will she be hot? That's the $6 million question. I don't know she might be uh, because she is 150% density. This wig might be hot, but I do think the wig is cute and I think this wig would be fine um, to wear. With there being no permatease in the wig, I think it would be okay. Um, she's gonna feel more like the hair on your head, but she does have that closed cap. So just be aware of that, just so you know. So listen, you guys, I'm done. This is all I gotta say about this little wig, and I will drop a link to the wig down in the description box if you all wanna take a look at it. So I hope you all have a great day. God bless you all. Maranatha, guys. Bye-bye.